This is question number 10. We're told the curve y is equal to 1 minus x multiplied by x squared plus 4x plus k has a stationary point when x is equal to minus 3. In the first part of the question for 7 marks, we need to find the value of the constant k. If the curve has a stationary point, dy by dx, the gradient function will be equal to 0. I'm going to expand the brackets, differentiate the function and sub in x is equal to minus 3. If I set that equal to 0, I can solve for k. So let's go ahead and expand the brackets and collect like terms. So starting with 1, we're going to have y is equal to x squared. Then we'll have plus 4x and we'll have plus k. Multiplying through by the minus x, we're going to have minus x cubed. Then we're going to have minus 4x squared then we're going to have minus kx. So collecting like terms, y is equal to minus x cubed minus 3x squared. Then we'll have plus the quantity 4 minus k multiplied by x plus k. You can expand that however you like. I've done it now to collect like terms downwards. You can, of course, do it in a straight line. What I'm now going to find is dy by dx, the gradient function. I need to multiply down by the power and drop the power by 1. So minus 3x squared, minus 6x. If I differentiate a term in x, I'm simply going to get this constant. So that's going to be now plus 4 minus k. And then we're going to differentiate the constant, which is going to give us 0. Now, for our stationary points, I'm going to write now 4sp, so for the stationary point, the gradient function dy by dx will be equal to 0. So I can set this now equal to 0. So 0 is equal to minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 minus k. I'm now going to sub in x is equal to minus 3. So we can say when x is equal to minus 3, we're going to have 0 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 squared, which is 9, minus 6 multiplied by minus 3, plus 4 minus k. Adding k to both sides, k is going to be equal to minus 27 plus 18 plus 4, and that gives me that k is equal to to minus 5. So if I wanted to go ahead, I could rewrite this now and have my equation y is equal to 1 minus x multiplied by x squared plus 4x minus 5. We could in fact look to factor this again if we wanted. We're not asked to do that. We're simply asked to find the value of the constant k and that is minus 5. In the second part for two marks, we need to determine whether the stationary point is a maximum or minimum point. Let's now consider the second derivative. d2y by dx squared will be less than zero for a max. d2y by dx squared will be greater than zero for a min. So what I'm going to do is take my expression for dy by dx with the value of k and differentiate once again. So dy by dx is equal to minus 3x squared minus 6x and then we've got 4 plus k uh, 4 minus k so k is minus 5 so this is going to be plus 9 all I've done is subbed in now k is minus 5 therefore the second derivative d2y by dx squared we differentiate both sides of the equation again with respect to x is going to give me minus 6x minus 6. We can say now when x is equal to minus 3, d2y by dx squared will be equal to minus 6 lots of minus 3 minus 6. That's going to give me 18 minus 6, which is 12. Therefore, we can state that this is a minimum as d2y, so d2y by dx squared is greater than 0. So all I've done is differentiated the function once again and then subbed in the values. 
In part three for five marks, it says given that y is equal to 9x minus 9 is the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point A, find the coordinates of A. If we look at this line here, we have a gradient of 9. We can see that line gives us a gradient of 9. This is the gradient function, and we can state that dy by dx, the gradient is equal to 9 at A. All I'm going to do is set my gradient function, dy by dx, equal to 9. So we've got 9 is equal to minus 3x squared. Then we're going to have minus 6x. And then we're going to have plus 9. The 9s are going to cancel. I can add the 3x squared and the 6x to both sides of the equation. And that will give me now 0. Factoring out 3x, we'll have 3x, and then we'll have x plus 2 is equal to 0. So this tells me that x is either equal to 0, or x is equal to minus 2. We now need to consider whether either or both of these, or it should be one, satisfy both equations. So what we've got then is the line. The line has equation y is equal to 9x minus 9. And the curve, let's just put line, the curve has equation y is equal to, we've got 1 minus x multiplied by x squared plus the 4x minus 5. So just looking at these, plus 4x minus 5, it must satisfy both. This is a cubic equation and this now is a linear function. So this point A must satisfy both. So let's start now when x is equal to 0. We have the line. So the line, I'm just going to put here, y will be equal to 9 lots of 0 minus 9. And that gives us now minus 9. The curve, we will have y will be equal to 1 minus 0, which is 1. And then we're going to have 0, 0 and minus 5. That's going to give us minus 5. So this tells me now that the line gives me that y is equal to minus 9, yet the curve gives me minus 5. So these are inconsistent. So inconsistent. So just jotting this down, inconsistent on those two points. If it was x now equal to 0, it should satisfy both. So when x is equal to minus 2, I'm going to sub this in. We can see now that the line, and just jotting this down, the line, we're going to have y is equal to, subbing in x is equal to minus 2, we're going to have now 9 lots of minus 2 minus 9, and that gives us minus 18 minus 9, which is minus 27. The curve, y will be equal to, we're going to have 1 minus minus 2, which is going to be 3, and then we're going to have now minus 2 squared, which is going to give me 4, then we're going to have plus 4 lots of minus 2, which is minus 8, minus 5. So if we look at that, what's that give us? That gives us now 3, so let's just put equals 3, and then we're going to have now, uh, that's minus 13, that's going to be minus 9, and this is going to be minus 27. These are consistent. So if we write down consistent, consistent. So what we can say, therefore, now A will have the coordinates minus 2 comma minus 27 as it must satisfy both now the line and the curve x equals naught does not satisfy both or doesn't give the same it's inconsistent this point does so all i've done is subbed it in and shown it's consistent for both the line and the curve therefore it must lie on it if you want to think about a quick sketch, what we've got, let's just draw it up. We might have something that looks like this. Let's say we've got now the curve, and the curve looks something like, so let's just say uh, it looks something like this. We must have a point, now let's just put it here, we must have a point that lies on the curve and on the line, not just the line or just the curve. So that's our final answer, minus 2, minus 27.